TNBA family, happy new year, happy new year, happy new year. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a great holiday season. I'm back. It's your president, Ronald Sims Jr. Now, I apologize. I'm a few days late. I know I was supposed to have been on here on the 1st of January. Please forgive me. I'm a few days late getting this out, but I'm here and I'm thankful to be here. 2023 might have had some struggles, but guess what? I'm still here. You still here. We in 2024. Let's go make it do what it do. Let's go make it a better year than 2023. Thankful that we made it through. We learned some things. We Some things might have changed, but it's all working for your good. So 2024, all in, no regrets. No regrets, no regrets. Let's go all in, okay? All right, look here. I'm coming to you unrehearsed. As I do these videos, I don't, we don't edit nothing. <laughs> so if I make a mistake, sorry. <laughs> but I'm corrected, okay, hopefully. But nevertheless, I'm just coming to you to let y'all know TNBA is an exciting time. We're growing, we're going to get better. We, has some bumps in the road, but what organization doesn't, right? We're learning, we're growing. I'm excited about the future of TNBA. And I want to tell you, first of all, thank you for being a part of TNBA. Thank you for being a member. Thank you for being uh, in the trenches with us. Thank you for your support. Thank you for continuing to help us grow. And uh, we have a long way to go. We have a lot to do, but together we can do it. And so your presence is needed. Your talent is needed. Your leadership is needed. Your being simply a part of this is needed. So I just want to say thank you, first of all, for being a member of TNBA. I want to talk about something real quick. And uh, that's in regards to membership. We are a membership uh, driven, uh, membership based organization. And so um, our members have been great over the years. And I'm just honored to serve as your president. I'm going to be honest. I am so absolutely honored to serve as the president of the National Boating Association Incorporated. And so um, still here trying to learn, trying to grow. And we've been here since 1939. We're not going nowhere. We're going to continue to learn. We're going to continue to grow. We're going to continue to have to change where we need to change so we can adapt to the changes and 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 keep growing, keep going. That's what we're going to do. And so um, please understand that um, a lot of people might not still understand how to become a member or what it, what it takes to um, be a part of this organization. Well, you can go to our website and you can sign up for membership. And if you want to get your league sanctioned, go to our website. We also can go through our TNBA CARES program, which we just started and which I'm also excited about because it's an opportunity for you to ask questions. It's an opportunity for you to get, uh, if you have any anything that you're not sure about, our TNBA CARES program is where you need to go to get all your answers, questions. I mean, all your questions, answers. See, I told you this is this is unfiltered. We just, the way it comes out is the way you're going to receive it. <laughs> so, but all your questions can be answered. Or if you have any, something that you're curious about or whatever, TNBA CARES, that's where you want to go. So membership, league certification, our TNBA CARES program can help you with that. Um, and the information also is on our website. I'm excited about the future of our organization and where we're heading. And so come on, be a part of it. We'd love to have you get your league sanctioned because when you shoot that 800 or 300 or that honor score, we want to make sure you get your award. But you have to bowl in a certified league or a certified tournament and have to be a member in order to get your uh, award. So just make sure you're signed up. Okay. Um, uh, you do not have to wait for the leader of that league or someone else in there. If you want to get your league signed up, it can be done. All you have to do is reach out to, uh, our TNBA cares program or go to our website and, um, you can get all the information to get yourself signed up, get your league certified. Okay. All right. Next thing I want to talk about, and I do have to apologize to all of our junior program, uh, leaders, directors, um, uh, the parents, the children um, made a change at, at, in the leadership of our junior program. And um, of course, when you make changes, sometimes we have to learn and, and things get there's a learning curve. Right. And so uh, I just want to apologize that we're a little late getting our sanction cards out, uh, getting that information out in regards to our sanctioning. Um, but that is in the works right now. Those sanction cards that we saw, the 
it, it's, it's being printed. OK, I'm just letting you know it's being printed. And so I'm excited about where we're heading with our junior program. Um, the future of our junior program is going to be absolutely awesome. I'm looking forward to the future of our program. And so continue to hang in there with us. Continue to pray for us. Um, continue to support our youth. OK, the youth is the future of our organization. It's the future of bowling. So. Uh, we want to give our youth as many opportunities as we can possibly give them to uh, be successful. And so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to set it up so they can have opportunities to be successful. So we uh, just ask that you continue to hang in there with us. Uh, but a better than right now is coming. So our junior program, I'm excited about it. That's moving forward. I'm excited about everything did TNBA because we are going to actually be moving forward and we're going to be better than than we were yesterday and where we were last year. We're going to get better and we need you so that we can continue to move in that direction. All right. So next thing that I have to talk about, of course, um, I'll get the bad stuff out of the way. The Reed Hawthorne, I mentioned it last month, and I do have to mention it again. We do not have the Reed Hawthorne this year. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to make that happen this year, but we are going to uh, reset and get uh, ready for 2025 because 2025 is going to be even bigger and better. So 2025, be on the lookout for the Reed Hawthorne entries. Make sure you get ready, get ready, get ready. Because the Reed Hawthorne is going to be even better in 2025. So looking forward to you being there. But unfortunately, 2024, we had to reset. Couldn't really make it happen this year. And so instead of trying to force something and make something happen and not be excellent, we said we're going to reset and, and strive for excellence in 2025. So looking forward to you. But since the Reed Hawthorne is not available, that means the, Ro the, the Robins definitely should be on your schedule. Because the Robins... Entries are open. So come on, get your entries in. So and the way it works this year is in March. Uh, let me make sure I give you the right dates. March 15th through the 17th. We have the Central and the Southern Rodmans going on that weekend. March the 15th through the 17th. We have the Central Rodman and the Southern Rodman going on. Then the following weekend, we have the on March 22nd through the 24th, we have the uh, Western region and the Eastern region Rodman's going on. So as I mentioned last month, you sign up for your region's Rodman. You can bowl another region's Rodman. OK, so you can this year bowl two different Rodman's. OK, next year in 2025, hopefully we'll get back to where we usually have it, where we have a different Rodman each weekend. And therefore, you'll be. Hopefully you'll be able to make all four Robins if you so choose to do so. Uh, and so that's what we're looking for in 2025 is to allow our members to bowl all the Robins. OK, because we want to have it set up so there was a different Robin each weekend. But this year you can bowl two different Robins, but you have to make sure you're signed up for your region's Robin. OK, so uh, the Robins, always an exciting time, always a top. Top notch scratch tournament, one of the premier scratch tournaments in all of bowling. And so um, come on and be a part of it. Come on and put your entry in. Um, and it's going to help you get even better. If you're looking to improve in your bowling, that's the type of competition you want to be in right there. Uh, it's going to help you get better. Trust me. But the Rodman's is special. It's, and that's one of those. If you ever had the opportunity to win a Rodman, I can promise you many of those bowlers have told, will tell you that's one of the highlights of their career if not the highlight. Uh, and so the Robins are special. So come on, sign up. We'd love to have you. Um, that leads me on into our um, national tournament. Our national tournament convention will be taking place May 16th through the 26th in Chicago, Illinois, Chi-Town. That's where we're going to be. So we're going to uh, look for you to be there. Entries are already open. OK, so mo make sure you get your entries in, make sure you get your hotels. There was something going on the entire week. We started off with our A.J. Roberts uh, junior roll off. And so the, the winners of our uh, different regional uh, junior tournaments, because I, I think I might have mentioned it earlier. And if I did not, please forgive me. But our junior uh, regional tournaments will be taking place March and April. And then the winners of each region would actually come together and have a roll off. At on um, that Saturday, that's kind of starts off at end. So that guess that's to be like the nineteenth or the twentieth. Um, 
our, our juniors will have their roll off. And so that's always an exciting time. Again, this is about our youth. We want to elevate them. We want to give them the opportunities to experience uh, some 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 beautiful things in this sport of bowling. And so we want to set them up for success, for success right? And so uh, experience is the best teacher. So let's get them, uh, get them ready, for not only to bowl their regional tournaments, but the winners of each regional will come together and have a roll off uh, that kind of kicks off our uh, TNBA week that will be in Chicago, Illinois this year. So then we have other things going on, such as our gospel fest. We have a Hall of Fame banquet. We have a, a golf uh, outing. Uh, we have a lot going on uh, through a TNBA week. How the Battle of the Sexes, if anybody has ever bowled Battle of the Sexes, you know how special that is, how much fun that is. And so um, looking forward to having you there. And then, of course, we have our King and Queen coronation ball so let's find out who's going to be the next king and queen of tnba love to have you there we'd love for you to uh come and hang out and to our tnba as i like to call it our family reunion week so we family tnba we are family and so um i just want to say thank you again thank you for your time for listening thank you for being a part of our organization being a part of tnba you matter you truly matter. I can't say that enough how much you matter to this organization. So continue to do what it is you do. Continue to be the best that you can be. Again, no regrets. No regrets in 2024. Go out and be the best that you can be. And uh, while you're being the best that you can be, continue to keep TNBA in your prayers. Uh, we're going to get better. We're going to get stronger. And we're going to continue to push forward. I'm excited about the future of our organization. And I'm honored and thankful to be able to serve as your president of the National Bowling Association. So thank you for allowing me to be who I am. And that's your president. And I absolutely love TNBA. So appreciate you. So as I always tell you, pray, plan, prepare, proceed. Go make it do what it do. I'll see you later on.